Back to those live aerials in just a moment, but first, the Washington Post is reporting a no-buy man has now been formally charged by Russia for allegedly being a spy. And that does top our news this noon. Paul Whelan, a former U.S. Marine, is now being held in Moscow and facing charges on suspicious on, on carrying out an act of espionage. Rod Maloney joins us now from downtown Detroit with what this all means and what's next for this no-buy man. Rod? Well, uh, you know, the uh, wheels of the Russian judicial system grind rather slowly, and so uh, it's been now, uh, what, five days since he was arrested. It was uh, December 28th that he was arrested. And so uh, today, we're told, uh, through his attorney, his a Russian attorney, that he's been formally charged with espionage, uh, and we were getting some detail about what the allegations uh, are behind it. They, uh, they say, or the attorney says, that he was apprehended during a hotel room meeting with a Russian citizen and that uh, during that meeting, the Russians claimed that he was trying to recruit this person to obtain classified information. And what they're also saying is that he received a USB stick containing a list of all employees of a classified Russian security agency, essentially uh, uh, spycraft is what they're alleging. Now, the lawyer representing him has said it's going to take perhaps a half a year before Whelan can get a court date, and he is appealing for bail. He has been kept in what amounts to the KGB's uh, prison in Russia, and uh, there are a number of differing theories as to why and how uh, this has all happened. Uh, Borg Warner, his employer, where he's uh, a security uh, expert, uh, is saying that uh, he does work for them, but they're referring all questions about this to the State Department. As of now, we don't have anything new from the State Department on the situation. Uh, but uh, the, the belief is, is that this is going to be a long and drawn out thing. Uh, there is one theory out there, very public theory, that says that uh, Whelan is being offered uh, in, uh, in exchange for a uh, Russian who was cooperating with the Robert Mueller investigation. We'll be hearing more about that coming up on Local 4 News at 5 and again at 6. So reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, quite the development. Thank you.